Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's good, my peoples? Hey, yo, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The X Productions. I'm the Biz Zone, aka the Unknown Producer, and I'm back. <laughs> you know, um, I have to say, excuse me, forgive me for for um, being away so long. You know, I think the last time I, I, I did something was probably just right around New Year's, um, somewhere around there. I think that I, I ended off with... Um, Dr. Dre video, no, no, excuse me, Snoop Dogg video, I did some Snoop Dogg on the West Coast in Death Row, but, um, I'm gonna do something different and necessary, I'm not gonna continue with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on that till next time, and I'm gonna pay tribute to True Goy the Dove, who I just found out passed away at the age of 54, the age of 54, young, you know, same age as me. And those of you who are not sure who True Goy the Dove is, I'm talking about, that is um, one of the members of De La Soul. True Goy the Dove, Pastanus, and Maceo. Um, yeah, I found out today that this Sunday, you know, Super Bowl Sunday, I found out that he passed away, you know. And like I said, the same age as me, 54 years old. And I just want to pay tribute and homage to him and also show you what De La Soul represented what they did you know what they did as a rap group one of the one of the best rap groups ever you know to do it and what their legacy is was is still sorry I'm not even gonna say was what their legacy is you know um first let me start by saying that I had I had talked earlier about um, De La Soul and the streaming and everything and Tommy Boy and the thing they was going through with them. Um, and come to find out now they can, um, actually Tommy Boy was bought out and the people who bought him out made it available. De La Soul, six albums to be streamed on Spotify. I believe it's Spotify. Yes, yeah, Spotify. Um, so that's a good thing. Um... But I, like I said, this is all about True Goy the Dove and De La Soul, you know. What can I say personally about True Goy the Dove as a rapper? Um, he had a way of saying things outside the regular slang, you know. Well, not just him. Him and Pasta Noose had a way of saying things outside of the average street slang. They use their own language and metaphors and analogies and references. They were all very witty and it made you think, you know, they, you know, like no one else would say it like they would say it, you know, and they were, they were damn good MCs. They were a damn good group, you know, um, they had their style. They were different. They brought sampling. They, they, they Prince Paul, the producer, and them showed you creative ways you could sample, you know. But unfortunately, the sampling back then, you know, was a problem. You just had to, if you're not, if you're not getting clearance and you're not paying for it, you're going, it's going to hit you in the long run and it's going to affect you. And that's what happened to them, you know. Um, I don't want to go talk too much, but I just want to say once again, this is all about True Goy the Dove who passed away, and I just want to want to sort of like just do something and, and, and like just just play his music I just want to play their music for this time you know um sad sad I'm, I'm sad I'm really sad about this um I never expected it and De La Soul is one of my one, one of my favorite groups of all time and you know I remember the you know the first song I heard from them on 98.7 Kiss Red Alert played plug tuning plug one Plug two, plug one, plug two. Answering any other certain prerogative. Yo, oh my God, the way they flowed, it was like it was like transmission radio, like it was from from another planet. It was just different. And he was like, Yo, I never heard no one rhyme like that. And I had to listen to what they were saying, and it was crazy. And I didn't catch it at first because you don't know what they're talking about because you don't know them at this time. When he said plug one, plug two. I didn't realize they was talking about 
Pastanus and Trugoy. Pastanus plug one, Trugoy plug two. You know, which made which should have made sense to me. You know, you plug in your mic to the to, to input out to the input. Plug one, plug two. The mic mic inputs makes sense. You know what I mean? But um, the first song I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play play for you. Um, actually, video I'm gonna do by De La So is me, myself, and I, which came more for um. Three foot, three foot high, three feet high and rising album, the first album, and like I said, me myself and I, and this dropped in 1988. You know, so let's get it. Oh my God, I don't believe this, man. Yo, yo, Duff, who they put you with, man? I got deaf beat, man. Yo, man, they stuck me and Mace with Def Beat, too. Hello, Prince Paul's the name. You know the DJ for Sets of Sonic and the producer of this particular group? And now off of that, and on to the soul. De La, that is. If you take three glasses of water and put food coloring in them, you have many different colors, but it's still the same old water. Make the connection, and now, back to our video. I had my mic going there when I was talking earlier. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me, mirror, what is wrong? Can it be my daylight clothes or is it just my daylight song? What I do ain't make believe. People say I sit and try, but when it comes to being daylight, it's just me, myself, and I. I. It's just me, myself, and I. It's just me, myself, and I. Just me, myself, and I. It's just me, myself, and I. It's just me, myself, and I. It's just me, myself, and I. Myself and I. I. It's just me, myself and I. It's just me, myself and I. I. It's just me, myself and I. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory for plug one and two. But that glory's been denied by cassettes and gooky eyes. People think they diss my person by stating I'm darkly packed. I know this, so I point at Q-tip and he stays black as black. Mirror, mirror on the wall, shovel chestnuts in my path. Just keep on up to the nuts so I don't get an aftermath. But if I do, I'll calmly punch them in the fourth day of July. Cause they try to mess with third degree, that's me, myself, and I. Nah. It's just me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. It's just me, myself, and I. That was me, myself, and I, De La Soul. You know, so that's the intro to De La Soul when they first started out. They were young, as you can tell. 
Um, just want to make a couple, right? What I don't want to do is keep stopping the video. This is a homage and, you know, tribute to them. So I want the songs to play so you can hear the songs. So I'm going to hold, pretty much hold everything to like the end of the song and say what I got to say in the beginning of each song. But um, if you notice how they were dressed, that was the crossover to Afrocentric um, and sort of like club, you know? It was sort of like that 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 way of, of, of style that that was natural, you know? Like like the haircuts they had with the nappy hair and the fades and the parts and the and the and the, and the you know, I had all that. You know, I used to wear the African medallions like that. Dress shirts, crazy looking dress shirts. I remember I remember the haircuts back then, you know, like everyone's rocking now, they started that. They started these haircuts. No one, no one was getting cuts like that. Like like True Goy with the nappy hair and the parts over there and the fades. Nobody was getting that. That was like we used to call those funny haircuts. We like funny haircuts. That's what we used to call them. Like yo, the nigga with the funny haircuts. That's what we used to say. But that was the style. But like when they came out, it was so in style. To be not in style, to be different, to push it, you know what I'm saying? And we pushed it with them hairstyles. Like, like I remember I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a Gumby like that, nappy Gumby. I had a high low. I dyed the low side brown, and I had a peace sign carved in the side, in the side of my head, in the back of my head. Excuse me, in the back of my head. Yo, it, it was crazy, son. Like, you know, they, they, they influenced all the hairstyles that you see the young boys wearing with the braids and the fades and everything. The nappy hair, like. De La So started that, yo. They started that shit. Um, also want to say, like I touched upon, um, uh, Prince Paul. Like I said, he was um part of Stetsasonic, which was a group in the early '80s. That was that was that was that was um very popular back then. Stetsasonic, you know, they was part of you know, um. The native tongues they, they, they were like another extension of the native tongues you know and if i if i've been told y'all um the native tongues is like the group the crew that they formulated that was all them you have um de la soul jungle brothers tribe called quest queen latifah um you even had like ex other extensions like leaders of the new school you know they had like like i said stetson sonic um and then you had like other extensions who were you know, kind of like not exactly part of it, but they were so extensions of it, outside extensions and that connection, like like Karis One, Boogie Down Productions. Um, who else? Let me see. I know I'm missing someone else. Um, Black Sheep. Black Sheep was was part of Native Tongues. Shia Ali, you know, part of Native Tongues. Um, Moni Love. You know, you had you had a lot of lot a lot a lot of a lot of people came out of native tongues that was inf very influential and and went on to do like great things and 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 do nothing but good things for this for this hip hop culture. 